We welcome the former players, but we also welcome coaches, managers, trainers, SIDs, and staff back for this weekend, which culminates tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock when the Tigers host Arkansas. We're very fortunate to be gathered here with the 100-year history of LSU basketball. So we're going to have it in, in, in person tonight, Sparky Wade's wife. Sparky Wade was the first All-American in 1935 at LSU, all the way up to Coach Johnson and the current player. So you're really going to have a, a feel for the tradition of LSU basketball in 100 years. LSU basketball is a very, very rich tradition, a rich history of basketball, starting back with Bob Pettit, Pete Maravich, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Jackson. And uh, for me personally, find any college institution that has four players of that caliber when they competed in college. Uh, it's a really unique. I mean, I'm excited as can be. It's like a kid in a candy store. It's a great opportunity to get together and, and uh, tell all these old lies again and all these stories and, and, to, and to reacquaint myself with a lot of people that uh, I had known in my past, but some that I, I did not know, and I'll make some new friends tonight. First of all, to offer the official welcome on behalf of the university, it's my pleasure to introduce the Director of Athletics at LSU, Joe Oliva. Joe? Thanks, Jim. What a great turnout. Welcome back. Uh, the LSU basketball family is finally back together again, and uh, it's really great to have you back. Uh, it's great that you can see old friends, reminisce about uh, your All-American careers, and, uh, and just get to know each other again. But it's also great that we celebrate the past 100 years as we prepare for the next 100 years. I was fortunate enough to talk to uh, one of the greatest players ever in Bob Pettit this morning. He shared a story about you. He said, uh, I came on the court and that bulldog named Joe Dean with those thick glasses came up to me and said, you gotta believe every time you step on the court that there's nobody better than you and nobody can stop you. You were motivating back then. I had the honor and the privilege of playing with Bob Pettit. He's one of those rare, few rare people in this game that can take a team and put them on his back and carry them. Bob Pettit could carry a team. It was a time when uh, basketball was really big at Kentucky. And uh, Coach Brown, he uh, wanted to go see where I learned to play ball at my favorite park, Shawnee Park. And we sat in the park and Denny Crum was outside the school waiting for me. And Coach Brown took me away. Uh, it's a good recruiting tactic. <laughs> and uh, he said, you can go to those programs and uh, you'll probably win a national championship. He said, but uh, those are established programs already. They'll win it without you if you came or not. He said, but if you came to LSU, he said, you have a chance to build something. And he said, that's the greatest challenge, to say you can build something. One thing that's been a constant is the number of great basketball players that have been through this program. I mean, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Jackson, you know, the Ricky Blantons, the Rudy Macklins. I mean, go on and on. The, 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 just the great players that have been through this program. CT3's coming in. He's going to play against his dad. Now, that'll be a heck of a matchup. Look at that. Collis Temple, Jr., got it. And, and goes for a left-handed hook shot and makes it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to the locker room. He's done for the day. <laughs> and everybody is having fun. Coach said it's all family. We're all family. I've had a lot of fun here. It's 30 years here at LSU. A manager, administrative assistant, worked my way up all the way to where I'm at now. It only cost me one double bypass, but I'm still here. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. But if you go down in the dressing room on, on Don's uh, plaque we put up when he passed away, there's a little saying down there that, that hit me pretty hard, and I live by it every day. And it goes, life is full of memories, some good, some bad. Remember the ones that made you happy and learn from the ones that made you sad. 
thank you all for all the memories. It's been wonderful. Thank you very much. Whether you're a member of a, a sports information staff as I am, or a manager, a trainer, secretary, coach, player, support staff, you're a member of a very special group. You're part of the family of LSU basketball. One of the reasons this centennial is so successful is because of the time and the talent and the blood and the sweat and the tears of Dale Brown, who invested in this program when it was in a ditch. He hitched it to his shoulders like you'd hitch a wagon to a mule, and he pulled it out of the ditch and had a great 25-year run. You players that are here during my 25 years, I can't express to you enough how proud I am of the men you've become, what you've done with your lives. I thank you so much for the contribution you made to this program. And in 44 years of all kinds of highs and lows, tonight is the greatest moment I've ever had in basketball. Coach Dale Brown. 13 NCAA tournaments, four SEC titles, and two Final Fours, Dale Brown. Please welcome the head coach of the LSU Fighting Tigers, Coach Trent Johnson. We are just getting started in terms of our support and our ability to reach out to you. And uh, the, player, the players in this program now and the players in the program in the future, they're going to play for LSU and they're going to respect the history and tradition of this program. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure at this time to announce the Sweet 16, the 16 members of the LSU All-Century team that was voted on by the fans and a specially selected committee of former players, coaches, and historians. Brandon Bass of the Dallas Mavericks. From the New Jersey Nets, Stromile Swift. One of the three to have his number retired in this building, consensus All-American, Shaquille O'Neal. He played here as Chris Jackson, Mahmoud Abdul-Rauf, the late Al Little Apple Sanders III. The general string music, Jody. made here when he put on the purple and gold. His legacy has lived on through his two sons, Collis Tipple Jr. Glenn Davis of the Boston Celtics. The late Don Redden. You remember the shot in the Superdome, Ricky Blanton! The school's first All-American. Ladies and gentlemen, the late Sparky Wade. Consensus All-American, Brand Rudy Macklin. One of three players to have his number retired all-American, 
Bob Pettit. The greatest scorer in the history of big time basketball. One of the three to have his number retired. The late Pistol, Pistol Pete Maravich. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the LSU All-Century Team. In commemoration of this 100th anniversary season, we proudly unfurl this banner listing the members of the All-Century Team, which will hang from the rafters of the Maravich Center. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a salute to the Sweet 16, your all-century team, and the members of the LSU basketball family on hand for this historic centennial celebration. To a university that gave us the chance to be student athletes and the opportunity to be successful in the game we love and ultimately in the game of life to all those who worked behind the scenes to contribute to our success, to the coaches who molded us into the players we were and into the men we have become, to the moments we will never forget and those we shared them with, to those who are not with us tonight and the teammates who have gone on to their greater reward, to the future and a hundred more glorious years Raise a glass and celebrate. This is LSU basketball. Cheers. <laughs>